Hey, so uh, Chorby and Scoop Soldiers just got finished uh, about an hour and a half or so uh, spending at Children's Hunger Fund in Frisco, uh, volunteer volunteering our time. And I, I wanted to introduce Thomas uh, at Children's Hunger Fund and explain a little bit about what the team did today. Would you mind introducing yourself? Yeah, hi, my name is Thomas Russell, volunteer coordinator at Children's Hunger Fund in Frisco. And today we packed, oh, let's see, 180, 200, maybe uh, quality checked about 300 boxes here, and then went through and quality checked another 250 or so. So about 500 boxes were touched by Chorby today. The next ends that will touch them will be our church pastors and volunteers going into the community using them for evangelism. Love it. So would you mind explaining kind of the, the cycle, the process of how churches get involved um, and how Children's Hunger Fund deploys uh, these food packs in local communities? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. Uh, we have a, a mercy network of churches that are uh, vetted through an application process here at Children's Hunger Fund, uh, headed by Anthony Alexander, our director of that field. Uh, they take them through training where they are vetted to see whether or not they believe that Jesus Christ is the way to hope and salvation uh, with other factors uh, where we can help them uh, find the best practices on using the box for evangelism to make the greatest impact in their community. Every month, the churches come here to pick up the boxes where we volunteers can love on them uh, with extreme hospitality, uh, load them up, pray with them, and then send them on their way back out into the mission field. Uh, we exist because there is a need for hope to be delivered in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. And now uh, all across the world, uh, we're having more of a global reach through that initiative. Yeah, I love that, man. Yeah. Um, so if someone was uh, an individual um, who maybe is, is connected with a church that isn't connected with Children's Hunger Fund, how can they go through, go through a process to um, uh, connect in any way? Perfect. They could simply go to childrenshungerfund.org, fill out the contact form on there, basically stating, hey, I'm a member of so-and-so church. We would like to know more about Children's Hunger Fund and how we can become involved. Yeah. That simple, they will be vetted within 24 to 48 hours, depending on the holiday. Mm -hmm. And uh, from there, we can see the best way to serve that particular church. Yeah, I love it. So how can someone uh, find more about Children's Hunger Fund? Yeah, they could either go on Google, looking at our reviews and photos there. Uh, but yeah, just search uh, on all of your search platforms, Children's Hunger Fund, whether it's Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, or Google itself, or going directly to our website, childrenshungerfund.org. Awesome. So uh, if anyone is interested in learning more about how they can get involved or learn more about how Children's Hunger Fund impacts uh, communities locally, but also globally, please go check them out. Um, Thomas, any last parting words on the impact um, that Children's Hunger Fund has? Yeah, um, we'll never know on this side of glory. Uh, what it took for that person to get a yes and an amen for Christ. Uh, but all we can do is plant the seed. So uh, I want to say thank you in advance for helping us plant seeds of hope to families and children in need.